This is how you use the menu in YouTube Studio Beta. Okay, this is the new Studio Beta, and it's a whole new look um, that they're working on. They haven't quite got it down yet, but it should be uh, finished probably within the next year. If you come over to the left side, you'll see this is your map here of all the different uh, features that they have. If you press on this, it shrinks it so that you have a bigger view here. If you press on it again, it'll expand your menu. So here's your menu. You got your dashboard, which is the page that it opens up to. And then the next one is your videos. And on your videos, you're going to have 30 videos laid out, kind of like uh, a Creator Classic, but it's a little bit more stretched out. You got your likes over here, your comments, your views, the date it was published, your monetization information, your visibility. When you go, you can't, uh, it's kind of hard to see some of these things because they hide them. You need to highlight it. Like this is your play button. You can view it on YouTube. And this button here gives you some other options where you can edit, uh, you can uh, get a shareable link, you can promote it, you can download it, and you can delete it. So that, to find that, it's not very intuitive. You have to kind of roll your cursor over it. Um, I'm not going to, over here, you know, you've got a couple other things you can do. You can look at a number of, you can look at your monetization, your visibility, your views, descriptions, titles. You know, you can search by that. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and look at this title. So if you write in title here, let's say I, I'm going to put in there SUP, S-U-P. Let's see what comes up. Apply. So what did you bear? Here it is. It pulled up SUP. SUP. Here's a SUP right there. Here's another SUP. Anything that has SUP in it, it's going to bring it up. SUP. So, you know, super, super prep. <laughs> SUP. SUP. All right. So anyway, that's how that works. So let's go back here. And let's go to Views. And let's go, uh, let's put a value in there. Um, 10,000. So over 10,000 views. So all the videos that have over 10,000 views, they're going to come up. They only brought up a couple of them. Oh, that's if in this title of SUP. So if I, if I get rid of that, it's going to change it. It's going to give me all my videos over 10,000 views that, you know. So you can narrow it down. You can put a couple different things in here. So let's say if, if I wanted to do a title... Um, Kiteboard. All right, and I apply that. And then if I want to click again here, like this, and I want to do a description. Surf. Let's just put that in and see what happens. So it narrowed it down to this video. So it's, it's got over 10,000 views. There's a mil, almost 2 million views. Uh, the title contains Kiteboard, and the description is Surf. So it's got Surf in there. So anyway, bam, get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then I get rid of that, and it should take us right back to our original one. This is my last video. Nobody's watched it yet. All right, let's go to Analytics. All right, so Analytics has a whole different look, too. So this is your this is a timeline here. And you can change the timeline by coming up here, clicking on this, and they give you a couple different options. You can do seven days, 28 days, 90 days, 360 days, or your lifetime. Let me click lifetime. All right, so my lifetime, they don't really have because back in 2006 there was no monetization. You weren't getting paid. So I've been on here since, you know, Looks like it shows September 1st, oh no, I'm sorry, August 15th of 2006. And as you move forward, um, it doesn't show me making any money until right here. So this was the originally, I was, I was doing really good back here, and then not so good here. And then now I've really been working it hard for the last couple months, and I'm really kicking it in. But anyway, it gives me my life, lifetime earnings. It shows... Uh, 6.4 million minutes watched, uh, 22 million views. So, and it gives you your number one 
number two, number three, number four. And you can see more by just clicking on this. It's going to open up this window. And in here, it's going to give you more detailed data. Like you can look at the video, traffic source, geography, viewer age, you know, all of these different types of things which will help you understand uh, your, uh, you know, your viewer, viewing, your audience and your viewing public and what they're looking at and how they got there. You know, you can see where it came from, you know, what the revenue source was. And, um, and it shows your, your um, views, average duration of watch time. Here's one here. They, they really watch this one long. <laughs> this one here they watch long too. And uh, here this one they, they spent a lot of time on. So the how-to videos seem to work really good. All right, to get out of this, you just click on that. And we go right back to our analytics. Down here, it's telling you how many uh, videos you published for that day and the name of the videos. Now, if you want to see it, you got to close that up. And then, oh, it just doesn't want it. Well, let's see if we do it this way. No, let's go open this up. It doesn't matter if I close or open that. So when I go over here, it brings up this little box, but for some reason, it's kind of, it's, it's uh, not allowing us to see the front of it. So if I go over here, it's starting to move this way, starting to move this way. And this tells you the name of the video, the time it was published. And as you go through, here's like, you know, of course, these are from way back, over 10 years ago. And, you know, we get up here. It's not showing a whole bunch of stuff, but just kind of showing you a little bit. If you go into your into your last 28 days, it gives you a little bit better. You know, you can look at it. Doesn't want to. There we go. Just showing you the different ones that I've put in the last couple days. When you see just an arrow, it's only one. When you see a number, it's two. So this day I put in two. This day I put in one. And then again, it has all the, you know, in the last 28 days, it's going to tell you what's going on there. So if you notice, when you change it, if I go to seven days, these will all change down here, you know, to what happened in the last seven days. Like the top one was this one, 12,000 views. Next was the, uh, this one for 9,000 views. This one for about, just about three. So if I go back again and I do the 28 days, uh, the uh, Fluid Master Universal Toilet Fill Valve is number one. So anyway, you can look through all this stuff. There's all kinds of, I mean, this analytics thing really has a lot of stuff that you need to go through. I have a bunch of videos on analytics, and it kind of breaks all this stuff down. So I won't go through it too much right now. But, um, you know, it just kind of tells you, you know, where you're at. Like my, uh, my earnings per thousand views is about $5.11, and it's up 13% from the last 28 days. So I'm seeing a constant up stroke here. So that's good. Now you go to comments and these are all your comments and I try to answer them or I give them a thumbs up if I like it. You know, if it's something stupid or, or mean, I just kind of, I just ignore it. You got to have thick skin and a tin ear when it comes to YouTube. Don't get, don't get emotionally involved in what the people say. I just try to help them as best I can. Like this guy said, did not help. And then I explained what he needed to do. Uh, down here is transcriptions. That's where you change it into another language. You allow people to do that. That's, I have a whole video on that. This one has copyright stuff. I don't have any copyright problems, so I'm cool. This tells you about monetization. I'm already monetized. Now, these are the features that they're working on right now. You got playlists, live events, stream. If you go to one of these, it's going to take you back to Creator Studio Classic. So, you know, if you want to look at your playlist, you're going to look at them in Creator Studio Plastic. Let's go ahead and just do that. So you'll see it just kind of throws you back to, uh, uh, to the uh, Creator Studio Classic. And, um, you know... They haven't got that completely figured out yet. Now down here is settings. As you can see here, this is interesting. If you, if you don't want to have YouTube Studio Beta open up, you can change that by just clicking here and then hitting save. So now it's going to open up to uh, Creator Classic when I open up my YouTube dashboard. Um, but I'm just going to go back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it keep it as studio. Let's go back to settings again. Saving that. 
Let's go back to that. So anyway, this is general. This is your channel. So in my channel, I have um, some keywords. How to, YouTube tutorials, kiteboarding, kite surfing. These are all the things that I do videos on, kind of. So you, know, you can add as many as you want in here. And hopefully that helps people search your, um, your videos. Upload defaults, I really don't have any. Community, mm, I don't have uh, anybody added on there. You can, you, know, you can do things with that if you want. Um, and then other settings, advanced channel settings. This brings you back to Creator Studio again. All right, so that's your general. I'm getting paid in US dollars. Uh, it opens up to YouTube Studio Beta. And like I said, you can change that. All right, now what's new? Yeah, let's see what it says here. All right, so YouTube itself is, provides you with three uh, videos on how to use YouTube Studio Beta. And you can see this one's seven minutes, this one's two minutes, and this one's 58 minutes. They don't really give you a lot of good information in them. But, you know, you can look at those. Uh, I find that uh, mine's a little bit better and more detailed. Um, you can send feedback back to them, you know, if you want. I don't really have anything to tell them. And then if I want to go to Creator Studio Classic, I just click here. And that brings me back to the original YouTube Creator uh, Studio Classic. And uh, a lot of people are just used to this and they don't like change, so they want to stay in this. You're going to be able to do this probably for another year maybe or six months. But sooner or later, they're going to, they're going to make you switch over to uh, Studio Beta because that's all there's going to be. So anyway, that's how you use your menu. Not this menu, but <laughs> the menu in Studio Beta. Whoops. Let me go back. So that's how you use... Come on, Studio Beta. Click in. So that's how you use the menu. This is, this is your condensed menu. This is your uh, expanded menu. So if I want to collapse the menu, I click here. If I want to expand it, I click here. That way you can read it. If you, if you don't have any problems knowing what these things are, these icons are, without the words, then you can always just collapse it. All right, and that's how you use the menu in YouTube Studio Beta. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other cool videos on YouTube Studio Beta.